All right, everyone, let's try this one more time. As you can see, I've got everyone over here, except for Wallace. Nobody likes him. And I'm going to make her use the Lance Reaver, so that way she's got a less likely chance of getting murdered. So let's do this. Yeah, we should probably stay with the Lance Reaver. So you're the girl claiming kinship for my, with my brother. Blah, 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 blah. We've already done this. <laughs> that won't kill me this time. Suck it. That annoying little girl. Nothing but a savage from Sase. The throne should be mine. Yay. Yay. Alright, and seize. We've won. At last, I can see my grandfather. You are Lady Lindish, are you not? Who are you? I am Riseman, the Chancellor of the Kaelin Royal Family. I had received word from Kent and Shane when you f when you first met, but then Lundgren discovered the messages and imprisoned me. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to your true home. Thank you. May I see my grandfather now? Yes, of course. Do not be shocked by what you see. Lundgren has been po has been poisoning the Marquis Mears for some time. His body has been ravaged. He's been bedridden for much. Who's there? I mean, <clears throat> who's there? I said no visitors. I will see no one. What are you doing? Leave me to die. Um, pardon me. My name is... I'm Lindis. It... Did you say Lindis? Is that... My father's name was Hassar, chieftain of the Lorca. My mother was Maitlin. I was raised on the plains. Could it be... Come, come here. Let me see your face. Oh, yes, there is no doubt. You are Maitland's true-born child. Uh, uh. Grandfather! Huggums. Lundgren told me that my daughter had died. My heir, and you too. You told me, he told me you were dead. Thank you, thank you for living. Ah, uh, I am blessed. Mother and father were slain last year by brigands. I, I was the only survivor. I lived on, but... Lindis, please forgive a prideful old man. If I had but accepted your parents' love, there would have been no bandits. We would have lived here together in perfect peace. Grandfather, my parents, my tribe, our life was one of love and peace. Except for the ending. The end was tragic, but up until the attack, we were truly happy. Truly? Maitland had a life of happiness. Oh, that gives me so much joy. Thank you, Lindis. I can die in peace now. Blah, blah, blah. No, Grandfather, you mustn't say that. Claire! Uh -huh. Er, get in here and hit him with thunder. <laughs> Hilarious. There's no avoiding it, Lindis. I've taken too much poison for it far too long. It's too late. Reaper, if you've taken too much poison, then you would have been dead by now. <laughs> be, be brave, Grandfather. You will recover. Believe me. On the plains, we say that illness fails in the face of a strong heart. I am with you now. You mustn't give up. You're with me. Yes, we have so much to talk about. Walk, walks to take, music to listen to. There's so much I want to do with you. So much time, so much last time we can recover. That does sound nice, doesn't it? And once you're well, I'll take you to the plains. I'll show you the endless sky, the oceans of grass, gr grass, grass. I want you to know the lands my mother loves so much. The lands maiden loved. You're right. I still have quite a bit of living to do. You can do it, Grandfather. Lindis. Lady Lindis, do you honestly plan on remaining here? Tell me truly. Yes, until my grandfather is well. I can't leave him. now. I won't. Then the physician says that Lord Hausen looks like a new man. It's like he was never ill. And it's all thanks to you, milady. He's the one. He's the only family I have left. I want him to have a long life. Although he's already practically dead. Hey, Linus. What is it, Florina? 
I, I have been taken into service by House Kalen. From here on, Lin... I mean, Lady Lindus, uh, we'll be together always. Really? Oh, that pleases me so, but... Please, don't call me Lady Lindus. For you, I'm still just Lin. My Pegasus and I fly on, on, on your... Fly for your house now. I am your servant. There are rules to follow. Florina! I'm happiest when I'm with you. That's more important than how I address you. Please. I suppose I just have to get used to it, right? Very well, I understand. Oh, thank you. I do love you, Lynn. Oops, I mean, Lady Lindis. <laughs> oh, Florina. <laughs> Meet me in my bedchambers later tonight. Lady Lindis, I've decided to stay too. W weren't you planning on returning home? Well, I was, but I've grown quite fond of Lindis Lindis's legion, you know? I couldn't I couldn't possibly leave everyone behind. I'll send word to my family regarding my decision. Huh. I'm pleased to have you, Will. I skipped that. Thank you, my lady. Zathos, you're leaving, aren't you? No, I'm not asking you to stay. It's just, I'll miss you. When I found you unconscious on the plains, I had no idea we would be together for so long. You've helped us so much, and I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. You'll do just fine on your own. I have the utmost faith that you'll be a master technician, Zathos. That's from someone who's seen you at work. Oh, that's nice. Well then, take care. I, I hope I hope I see you again. I'm sure that I will someday. Yeah, you'll probably see my corpse because I'll be unconscious on the planes again because I can't take care of myself. Can't Knight of Lycia. Shit! What the hell was that? For his bravery in fulfilling wait, in, in fulfilling his command. Knight is named Knight Commander of Kaelin. It is a high honor for one so young, but no one deserves. It, but no one denies his worth. Say, Knight of Knight, Knight of Lycia. Sane has earned the honor of being named Sub Commander of the Kaelin Knights. Despite his promotion, he still scoffs at authority and woos the village girls. He is much loved by the by the citizenry. Florina, Pegasus Knight of Ilia. Florina has arranged to stay in Kaelin. She spends her every waking hour in rigorous training, hoping to become invaluable to Lynn. Her fear of men has lessened, but only slightly. Will Archer of Fere. With his cheery outlook and his happy-go-lucky demeanor, Will has become quite dear to Marquis Kalen's household. Kent is teaching him, him manners, befitting a sworn man of the ca Castle Kalen. Dorcas, Fighter Burn. Once Lynn's true heritage is recognized in Kalen, Dorcas returns to uh, to his home in Burn. There, he cares for his wife and makes a good living as a mercenary, fighting the local bandits. Sarah, si uh, si Cleric of Ostia. Ultimately, Urk succeeds in, s in seeing Sarah safely to Ostia. While her behavior is irritating at best, she is sorely missed. Um, her, her, uh, whatever, tongue has become legendary. Urk, the Wandering Mage. His contract with Sarah complete, Urk sets off for Eturia. His time as a mercenary is just part of his training, and he is glad to, to see it end. He has since returned to his mentor. Wrath, the Sasayan Nomad. In the be in the celebration of fo uh, following Lin's uh, return to King, uh, slips out and see whether he has returned to Sasari or continues to work with the mercenary, no one knows. Matthew, the enigmatic <laughs> thief. Matthew Vank Vank vanishes after the final battle, and his whereabouts remain a mystery. Nils, the, mis the mysterious musician. B zero W zero. I don't know what those means. Nils and his sister Ninian take their leave of Castle Canada after a few days. He may he may well be traveling the land, mastering his musical skills somewhere else. Oh, it means how many battles they were in, I guess. Lucius, the traveling monk. Lucius studies in Kalen for a time, but he departs after receiving summons to another land. He has since been traveling with a, with a hard-eyed mercenary. Wallace, the the the. He's been in sixty battles, but he didn't win a single one. For, for Wallace, Lin's struggle only whets his appetite for battle. He sets off in search of cause for a wordy of his blade. He lacks any sense of direction, so it, so it may take make years before he returns. Zathos, the tactician. Zathos le leaves Lin to continue his training. He plans on traveling throughout Lycia. L Lin refuses to say goodbye, believing in her heart that she will see him again. Sorry, that was my fault. Lin, the sword fighter from Sase. 45 battles, 22 wins, 1 loss. <laughs> Lynn now now lives with her grandfather as Lady Lindis of Castle Kaelin. Under her beloved, under her loving care, Lord Housen recovers, and now the two of them go for many walks in Kaelin. Goes, yeah, I got it. On clear, dry nights, Lynn can be seen high atop a hill near the castle. Perhaps she's remembering the home of her youth in the plains of Sase. Here ends Lynn's story. Would you like to save your progress? No. Taking leave. Would you like to continue playing? Yes. As of chapter 11, Elwood becomes the story's main character. Zathos' role will be to act as tactician, aiding his group. 
w help Elwood to fulfill the chapter goals and fight his way to the end of the game. You'll start your first campaign with Elwood and then meet his friend Hector in chapter 12. And who knows, you might even meet Lynn again. If any of if any of these three is defeated, you, uh, are defeated, your game will be over. The game will continue if if any other allied units are defeated. However, a defeated unit can never take part in combat again, so be careful. One year later. Oh, once Dragon fought Mana, I already know this! The hero hunts- Ah! Oh! Say that my move us to a sacred home and blah blah blah. The horseman Hannon's legacy lived on with the nomads of his beloved plains of Sase. The birthplace of the knights uh, Bargian is new is new, now home to the renowned knights of Ilya. The berserker uh, Durban's final glory was to create a warrior's clan in the Western Isles. The arc sage Athos is said to have retired to the barren wasteland of Nabata. The heirs of the champion Roland themselves became the lords of the Lycian League. Elib has enjoyed a peace that spans 980 years. How much longer can this peace stand before its foundations begin to crumble? Deep within the Lycian League lies Fairy, um, a land that has known no conflict for many generations, but 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 which now finds itself touched by a shadow of unease. Its beloved and benevolent ruler, Lord Elbert, has mysteriously vanished. As, as have a number of his sworn men, loyal knights who serve at his side. A month has passed without word from, from the Marquis. Rumor of his death abound. However, the Marquis's son believes that his father lives. I found to find him! Oh. Marquis Faraday's son, Elwood, a red haired youth who will one day become the finest knight in all of Lycia. His, lo his long journey begins here, in Sanchez. Talking, taking leave. Lord Ellawood, we leave you. We leave on your word. I see. Thank you, Marcus. Mother, it is time for us to go. You know, for a mother, she is hot. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. Ellawood, promise, promise that you will return to me safely. I'm worried about your father, but if anything were to happen to you. My heart could not bear that sorrow. I know, Mother. Please, do not worry. Father is alive, I know it. I vow that I will find him and return him to your side. I have your word then? Yes, of course. Isadora, I entrust my mother to, to you in my absence. Isadora's hot! Yes, my lord. I will guard her over her will. How the hell? I could not <laughs> I could not serve in this fucking house, in this household because I'd be like, Oh, the women are hot! I cannot fucking concentrate! Too busy masturbating in room closet and <laughs> making soap narrations. Mother, I will return. Rest easy. Lee. Well, Marcus, it looks like it's just the two of us. That's all, my lord. <sighs> oh, excuse me. My man Lowen will be traveling with us. Lowen? That's reassuring. I've sent him ahead to the village. He hopes to seek out a few able men who are skilled at arms. Normally I wouldn't venture forth without a larger company, but I bow to your will on this matter, on this matter, Lord Elwood. I'm sorry, Marcus, but I would rather not deprive my mother of even a single guard. The best knights in the realm disappeared with my father. If anything were to happen to my mother while I am gone, I, I understand, my lord. What's keeping Lowen? We've all heard that the knights are very advanced, huh? Right? Yeah, excuse me. Well, your misfortune is my good luck. How I have an announcement to make. As of now, this village is mine. Grizz Grizzny is your new liege. Now bring every last piece of gold down to the smallest fleck. Run the fuck away! Lord Elwood, I can't see! <laughs> Lowen, get your get your hair out of your eyes. A knight must be in control at all times. The village is under attack! I think it's bandits! What bandits here? Wait, how would you how would you know? Are you sure, Lowen? This girl has more details than she saw for me. Hello to say hello to my favorite archer in the whole game, my Lord Ellawood. Oh, my Lord Ellawood? I'm the daughter of, of the village magistrate. My name is Rebecca. The bandits came without warning. They're stealing everything. I beg you, please help us. 
I see. Marcus, Lowen, we must aid the village. Yes, my lord. Rebecca, stay here and keep out of sight. If it pleases you, my lord, I would rather fight. I hunt almost every day, and I have some skill with a bow. Is that so? Very well, but be careful. Yes, my lord. Lord Elua, one more thing. There is another in, in the village who has offered to help. A traveling tactician who was staying at the inn. Tactician? Yes, my lord, this is Zathos. What's up? Zathos! Do you know this person, my lord? Yes, I met Zathos during the trouble in, in Kaelin last year. A fascinating military advi a fantastic military advisor, if memory serves. If not for Zathos, the Marquis is the Marquis of, of, of Kaelin and his granddaughter, Lynn, might not have survived Lundgren's up uprising. What brings you to Ferry, my friend? <laughs> Still traveling about, owning your skills. Of course. A worthy pursuit. What the fuck can a tactician do by traveling around? I mean, I suppose surveying the landscape, that would probably be the only thing I can think of, you know. Like, like he, he walks around to like a place and he goes, you know, if there was a battle to take place here, I'd probably be, I'd probably take, take that cliffside over there. Or even like right here, you know, like, like, like if, if he was like looking at this area, he'd probably be like, you know, if a battle would take place, the first thing I would do was to, would be to run into the forest. Because that would be a smart thing to do, everybody. You run into the forest and you keep running. Let's give thanks to Providence, uh, uh, for- Let's give thanks to Providence for our chance reunion. We have need of your aid. Please lend us your skill. No! Ugh, oh, excuse me. Alright. First of all, let's see everything. Lowen, a knight in service of House of House Faraday, a fresh recruit. Cavalier. Rebecca, a youth from Faraday, very helpful and bright. Elwood, Marcus Faraday's young son, just and honorable. Marcus, a paladin serving sorry, a paladin serving House Faraday, a, a skilled veteran. Interestingly enough, in the uh, prequel to this one, you actually had Marcus um, in there, and Marcus was amazing. I mean, like he was a very strong. He, he looked a lot younger than he does right now, but he, but Marcus was amazing back then. See, she doesn't attack twice like Will does, but she does have the, uh, she does have a lot of things. Yeah, I guess the same thing's true for Ellawood. Look, Dorcas, can you believe it? It's just like that knight said, that's Lord Ellawood. So it seems. <laughs> What's he doing? Hey, he's taking out those bandits, protecting innocence. That's a that's a right lordly thing to do, isn't it? Right, Dorcas? You talk too much. The lording the lordling needs our help. Right. Leave these mounted leave leave these mountain weaklings to me. I'm Barte the Brave. Or Batray. Bartray. Fuck it. Yeah, he hit something. Okay, let's get Marcus in the back. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's actually like bitching. Dragon Shield is good for defense, which is why I'm gonna give it to her. And an energy ring. Bitchin'. Fucking bitchin'.
move him down here, move him over here. God damn it, Elwood, would you hurry up and level up? Thank you. Oh, thank God he got speed. It's exactly what I need him to have. Keep spitting on my screen. Seriously. Okay, fuck you too. Bring this over here. A Kalen bandaged, attacking villagers for money. That's what he does. Get any speed, god damn it. What is this? A pack of children coming to play? You think you can challenge me? What fa what fairy and knights but that's impossible? Suck it. No one would you kindly Dorcas and Bartolo. Just want Rebecca to level up again so she can get a, so can get a speed boost. Come on. Actually, it doesn't even matter if she if she even does get speed. I'm, uh, if she doesn't get speed, that's it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. She can attack twice now. Wait, she can do four twice, right? Yeah, so she can do 8, and I'll leave that guy with, uh, 5, and I'll do 11, oh, it doesn't matter. It definitely doesn't matter now! <laughs> ah, delightful. Ugh, oh, I thought my luck was finally turning around. Damn it! Oh, you would be Lord Elwood, huh? Our demonstrations were coming to the aid of our fair village. Think nothing of it. It's a lord's duty to protect the citizens. Which, with that, with that, with that were true, my lord. Uh, the good folk of Laos now know no such protection. Their marquis, Lord Darren, is too busy preparing for war. He ignores all complaints of bandits and thieves. Preparing for war? Are you sure? I would not lie, my lord. My brother lived in Laos until a few days ago. His home was torched, and he had no choice but to flee here. According to him, Laos could go to war any day now. It's all the people of Laos are talking about. Lord Elwood, if this is true, the situation is, is a grave one. If Marcus Laos is readying for war, his target is most likely another Lycian territory. Perhaps this is connected to Lord Elbert's disappearance. My father and Marcus Laos, it seems a tenuous connection, but it's as good as a start as any. Let us travel to Laos. We must learn more. 
Thank you for your guidance, Atlas. Where, 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 uh, where are you bound for next? If you have no destination in mind, perhaps you could travel with us. Ours is a small group with a single purpose, to find my father. I do not know where our road will lead, but we would be strong with you in our company. You will travel with us? Splendid! Thank you. I pray you give us no... You, you give... Uh, I pray we give you no cause to regret your decision. Okay, you come with me. <laughs> Rebecca, where do you think you're going, my lady? Father, I, I intend to, to accompany Lord Elwood. Don't be ridiculous, girl. Lord Elwood is not going on a picnic. He's riding into danger. I know that, Father. That's why I want to go. We owe him our lives, and I want to repay him. My bow may not be all that much, but I know I can be of service. But... And, Father, I may meet me, I may meet up with my brother somewhere. You're the magistrate. You have, you have responsibilities. I... This is all I can offer. I need to do this. Please, Father, let me go. Dear me, you're just as stubborn as your mother was. I'm sorry, Father. You must bow to Lord Elwood's wishes on this matter. If we, if we consent, you may go. Thank you, Father. Lord Elwood has always been kind to us. Follow his son with a true heart, Rebecca. Serve Lord Elwood well, as I have served his father. I will, Father. Okay, let's save, and I'm going to call it quits. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.